Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Status Report highlight for the 4th of April. It's the 8th of April, Falcon, you knobhead. Where you been, mate? Oh, shit. How long have I been playing Battlegrounds for? Don't give a shit, mate. You better give the Daisy news to the people. Yeah, let's do that. My apologies for being late, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't know the status report was ready. I hope you can forgive me. Now that's out of the way, we're going to kick things off with lead producer, Yui Jun, who explains, things take time, and you can't buy patience with a wall of text. You just can't, and he gets that now. So what we'd like to do now is point you to a presentation that Yui Jun had at the Wide Nights Prior Conference that takes on the subject of this status report contribution. It's worth a look just for the experience he's had in Daisy development if not also just for his sexy accent. Eugen then goes on to say, I do stand by the development decisions we made as a team, but also see major flaws in how one can present changes in games underlying technology, where most of these changes are actually the base building blocks which, in time, will be able to provide a significant change of the overall player experience. All these engine changes are, in the case of DayZ, developed with the aim to keep the game moddable at all levels, with expanded scope. The engine changes for DayZ include renderer, networking system, Controls, script, sounds, physics, tools, server client architecture in most systems, consoles, animations, all gameplay systems written in script to a certain degree. Eugen then goes into much more detail, but it's quite a wall of text. And as always, this is a highlight, so I'll leave that for you guys to sift through in more detail. So with that said, let's move on to the lead animator, Victor. Our focus in the animation department is still mostly on melee combat and animations for the new user actions. We are still iterating and adjusting animations and the game design to make the combat feel good. However, there is the second part of the animations Q&A video that got finished just minutes ago. We were filming at our motion capture studio talking about animations in DayZ in general. Both parts of the animation Q&A will be in the description alongside Eugen's presentation. Now let's move on to lead designer, Peter. With upcoming changes to vehicle physics and simulations, we are also enhancing visuals for different damage states of vehicles, as well as how to make new abandoned and wrecked ones from all of these drivable models we already have. Large attachments like doors, hoods and wheels will be removable from these abandoned and wrecked vehicles, which can be combined with different colour and damage states. The fact Peter likes the most is the possibility to interchange all of these per attachment, or on different parts of body, depending on the direction of impact. Now let's move on to map designer Adam. We've made serious progress on an important milestone task for the release of 0.62 update, color tweaks for all new vegetation assets. This task is focused on making sure that all the new assets blend together and look just right. In addition to that, we are also utilizing colorization feature that brings much needed local color variety between individual assets. Please consider content of all pictures in this status report are work in progress. They do not represent final stage yet, as we are still working on additional colour tweaks and other things such as configuration of clutter, grass and surface mask. The two pictures on screen now show how the colour tweaks affected the overall feel of the new Chernerus. And these pictures on screen now provide an example of the young conifer forest parts near Devil's Castle, which is one of the more harvested areas on New Chernerus. And that's all for this week's status report highlight. As always, there is more. And I do recommend you read the status reports in full yourselves for the most amount of information that they hold. All links will be in the description below. And as always, I'll catch you gentlefolk on the flip side. Boy!